Hi there, this morning I'm in Hanchurch Woods and I'm going to have a scout around for some autumnal colours. So I've got two goals today. Firstly, I'm going to try and get some of the autumn colour in the leaves. Some of the trees are starting to get quite bare um, and so I'm running out of opportunities because it's getting towards the end of October. The second goal that I've got today is I'm part of a camera club that I've mentioned before and although I don't take part in the competitions, I still actively take part in all the projects and everything else that's involved in the club and we've got a project at the moment that's titled Texture so I'm going to have a look around for things that I can take that have texture involved with them. Hope you enjoy following me today and remember, enjoy your photography. So I've set up my first texture shot just here. There's a silver birch, it's got some nice interesting patterns on it. Um, but what I've had to do to make sure I get the texture really crisp and sharp is I've had to do a focus stack. Now if you're not sure about what a focus stack is, then I've done a video um, about focus stacking and I'll link that up above in the card and down below in the comments. Um, but just to make sure I get everything nice and sharp, basically what I've had to do is take a picture turn the focus ring, take another picture, turn the focus ring, take another picture and so on. So I've got all the parts of um, the tree in focus and then I'll put it together in the computer when I get back home. Now I will also just say that what I've had to do to make sure I get a sharp focus is use the um, self timer. So I press the shutter and take my hands completely off to make sure the camera is completely still. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. So this one was very easy to miss. Um, just down here on the ground there are some really interesting leaves and I thought it might be nice um, to take a picture of them but then I also saw this green fern leaf just coming across and I thought it would make a really interesting contrast between the green of the fern and the brown of the leaves and while I was just arranging it slightly so yes I did cheat a little bit I just moved some of the other leaves out of the way um, I did notice there's some uh, horse chestnuts have broken open and I thought that I just arranged that so it was um, made a nice composition and I quite like that one. You know I'm here to stay every single day If this is your first time visiting the channel, then go ahead and click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you'll stay informed of all of my future content. Just down here, I found a patch of mushrooms that are being caught beautifully by the sun. So what I've done is I've splayed the, the 
tripod legs out to get the camera really low down to the ground so it's at about the same height as a mushroom I've had to do a focus stack to make sure that I've got all of the mushroom in focus but I'm really pleased with that one Just starting to think as I'm walking through this clearing, what an amazing place it'd be if there was a bit of mist. If I could separate some of these little isolated trees from the background, it would just be magical. So it's really worth thinking about to come back here again if I know it's misty. It's going to be, it would be great. Woodland photography is really difficult. What you've got to do is constantly keep looking for a way to make order out of chaos really because the trees grow randomly and so what you're trying to spot is patterns that uh, stand out maybe because of the light, maybe because they're in groups of three or maybe just because something is pleasing. It's very tricky but if you walk around with your eyes open then something will appear eventually. I've come across this really interesting stump just here and I've taken its photograph from several different angles. Now the first angle that I took was from over there with the sun to the side um, but I did notice a problem that there was a silver birch just over here to my right that was right behind the stump and it appeared to be growing out of the um, top of this stump. So what I did was I moved the camera slightly to the side and also slightly up as well to remove the sky and then that separated the stump from the silver birch. What I've also done is I've taken a picture from where the camera is now, looking straight at it with the sun behind, because um, I thought that was quite interesting. But what I did need to do was move some overhanging branches over to the side because the leaves were casting quite distracting shadows all the way over the stump. So how I did that was I just twisted them round themselves and I'll untwist them before I leave and put them back how they were.
what a lovely morning that's been. I've had a great time wandering around Hanchurch Woods this morning. I've got some shots that I can use for my texture project. I've got some shots of mushrooms and I've got some really lovely autumnal colours as well. So I'm going away with some nice images. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, that's at the Oakton Photography. There you can see snake pics of photographs before they go into videos. You can also message me there, down below in the comments and on Facebook. I love getting messages from everybody and if you've got any questions, send them in too and I'll try my best to answer them. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to go ahead and click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live at 4 o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Autumnal leave cut the hooshka. Um, that there was a silver bit. The camera right down as low as I can um, by spraying the uh, spraying. And I can and oh, some really nice autumn autumn. I don't know why I sound like that. Why do I sound like that? <laughs>